Taking the bait through the skin, out the skin, one time. Thumb on the line, thumb on the line, push the button back. I'm gonna pull out once, twice, three, four, five. If you're looking to go to eight or nine, by the end of the day, you should be going to about 10 or 11. Take a look at your neighbor lines. And what you want to do is pitch slightly ahead into the slick. Simple as that. Thumb is still on the line. With my left hand pulling out the line and putting my rod tip straight to the water. It gets a nice straight line and it allows my bait to drift right into the chum slick. It also keeps me out of tangles. My thumb is still on the line. As the line catches into the chum slick, I'm going to come back. I'm going to pull more line out and just let it go out naturally through my fingers. I'm not going to twiddle with the line when the fish hits. I don't want my fingers to go through the eye. All I do is slowly let the line out into the slip. What I'm waiting for is for the fish to hit. When he does, my reel's going to run and I'm going to press down with my thumb. But until then, I just simply keep my thumb on the line. Here we go, Chris, you ready? My thumb is on the line, the fish is running, I count to three. One, two, three. I push the button up, and I crank the handle. Fish is on. Fish on! When I come to a dead rod, I simply walk around the rod, passing the rod through. If I come to a net, I do the same thing. As I go, I've got to pick up my slack. When I come to a gaff, I go around the gaff. I find myself fishing next to another person. I watch to see where their lines are. And then I just simply control my fish. And I can just hold my fish here without having to do too much work. I've got my left hand in front of the reel, the back end is underneath my right arm, and I'm simply turning the handle, keeping my fish straight up and down underneath me. I can lift up, and I can reel down, all in one smooth motion. Lift up, reel down. Fish takes the drag, I just let them run. Don't fight against the drag, let the equipment do the work. And turn the handle when I can. I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna reel down. Doug. Yeah, I just had a sandwich. When I see the fish, I'm going to call for the gaff. Gaff! Right away, sir. If a deckhand isn't available, I just let him swim around. Once the deckhand comes, this one happens to be Captain Jim. All I'm going to do is pull the fish towards him, put my thumb back on the line, open the button, close it, and put it in the rod holder. At that point, a deck handle will come by. Pick the fish up. And he'll take the hook off. No gap. I'm going to grab a piece of the sandwich. 